Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. When you come from a people that could not read or write for 400 years, everything you know come from them. Right. Romans 12 and 2. So we back to tell the black man that he a God on the earth. That's right. And the whole earth is waiting for you to get your stuff together so we can rule again. You ain't the God of Madison. You ain't the God of Pulaski. You the God of the earth. That's the right. The so-called black man is supposed to be running the planet. That's right. You know how when you want a passport, you got to go to the white man's business, get a passport so you can go over to Spain. They supposed to be coming to you for that. Right. That's you right. supposed to be signing the permission slip. Bring it out. That's the facts. But you've been, we've been downgraded and degraded to such a low position. Now when I see a God, I see a nigga. Right, right. The gods on the earth catching a bus on Madison and Pulaski. That's Jeez. right. And the brothers are out here to show you that you ain't fulfilling your greatness yet. And it's time for you to start fulfilling your greatness. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and the second verse. I'll yeah. say it again. You black men, you the gods on the earth. That's right. And I don't say that God called you God. That's right. right. The Bible calls you God. Tell them read that in a Christian church. You the gods on this earth. It's time for you to come back to your rightful place. That's, That's right. right. That's why we here. Read the Bible. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. When a, when, when a God is conformed to this world, he's a lower, the lowest version of himself. You cannot be a God and be a part of this world at the same time. It don't work like that. In other words, I can't look at you and say, hey, what's up, king? Hey, what's up, God? And then turn around and sell you some weed. It don't go together. Teach. It don't go to, you can't be in the world and the God of the world at the same time. It don't work like that. Right. But what we try to do is we try to build each other up and stay in the system that's oppressing us. Newsflash, black man, this society was created for you to be at the bottom. Right. Right. This society was created for you to be at the bottom with nothing. It was created for you to pick cotton 18 hours a day. For you to work for free, let alone minimum wage. This society was created for you to break your back for it and get nothing in return. Teach. And listen, this very society that was created like that is the one that we conform to. Right. Teach. Income tax is coming, I'm going to give me a car. I want to be like everybody else. I want the good job. I want to be like everybody else. But you're a God on the earth. That's How do you right. fulfill that now? That's why we here. And fulfilling and being the gods of the earth that you are, black man, you must come back to your God. That's right. Yes, we have a God that's over us. But on this earth, when your feet hit the pavement, the world's supposed to tremble. See, child. That's the spirit that you got in you. And you ain't living it yet. But we're going to teach it back to you. Read the Bible. And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We have to get to the point where our mind is renewed and we're looking at everything different. When I see a black woman, I see a sister, a princess, a daughter of Sarah, something precious on this earth. The Bible says her feet shouldn't touch the ground. You don't understand how low we've fallen. When I see a black man, I don't see a nigga. I see a God that's in a mind state that's all confusion. You don't understand how powerful you are yet. That's why you stand on the corner and sell dope. You ain't fooling me. If you knew you were supposed to be running this planet, you would be living like you were supposed to be running this planet. That's right. Teach. So we got to start renewing our mind, changing the way we think about simple situations around us. Sister, you weren't created to be nobody's baby mama. You're supposed to be somebody's wife. How about that? 
You are the right hand of the gods on the earth. You stand right behind us. And I'm going to tell you, Sister Sump, you never going to have no peace until the black man is ruling again. That's right. Our, our rulership comes directly to your benefit. Don't be conformed to this world, but be renewed in your mind, Read right? That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. What's that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? To keep the commandments. I'm going to tell you something, bro. Something that the Christian church ain't never going to teach you. Everything wrong with our community is a result from breaking one of God's commandments. Right. Right. I don't care what situation you bring up. I guarantee you, in the Bible, God tells you to do the exact opposite. Right. And because of these things, now the gods on the earth is walking up and down Madison and Pulaski with their pants below their butt. The Bible, the same one that's in these Christian churches called the black man God. How many times you been in a service and you done heard that come out? Bring it out, huh? Give me Psalms 82. Maybe you think I'm lying. Bring it out. You black man, I don't care how much money you making in this place. It don't compare to where you're supposed to be. That's right. You're supposed to be running the planet, not running the block. I'm sorry. That's a reality today. Yeah, we all got to eat. Yeah, we got mouths to feed. Yeah, we got things we want. But I'm telling you, as long as you think it's small, you will forever be in this position. That's right. right. What we're here to tell you is you're the God's own nerf. It's time you come back to keeping the commandments and fulfill your purpose. That's right. Psalms 82 and 1. Read that. The book of Psalms 82 and verse 1. Uh -huh. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. The Bible says that God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, he standeth in the congregation of the mighty. Who is that talking about? That's talking about you, so-called black man. You are the mighty on this earth. You just ain't figured it out yet. That's right. But that's why we're here. We're going to teach it to you all over again. Right. You were never meant to be subservient to nobody. Read. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. Uh -huh. He judgeth among the God. He do what? He judgeth among the God. Where do God judge? Among the gods. The Bible said God judge among the gods. What that mean? What do that mean? How can God judge amongst the gods? I thought it was only one God. Who's these gods that God is judging amongst? Who's, who's the one on the news? You ever seen a Chinese Emmett Till? A white Trayvon Martin? A Arab Freddie Gray? What is God, who is God judging amongst? He judges among the gods. The reason you see our affliction higher than everybody else is because God is in a judgment seat amongst the gods. That's right. The most high God is in the judgment seat when it comes to us. That's why our affliction is much worse than everybody else. Why? Because whom much is given, much is required. You've been given the world, so-called black man. And that, that, that responsibility is still on your shoulders, whether you want to get your mind right or not. Right. Jump down. Verse 6. I have said ye are God. What did God say? I have said ye are God. God said that you are God, black man. That's right. Y'all not understanding this. What are we reading that of? The Bible. The same Bible that they chucking and jiving with tell you so-called black men that you gods on the earth. That's right. Now, who else telling you that? God himself called you a God. Listen to the next part, though. Read it again. I have said ye are God. Well, what? And all of you are the children of the Most High. You are direct child of God. That's, That's right. So if God, if you're a child of God, that makes you a God. Right. But listen to the bad part, read. But ye shall die like men. But because of your sin, you're going to die like regular men. You're going to live like regular men in the slums and in the dumps and in the ghettos. Give me first kings. We don't talk about some manhood things because it used to be the older generation. When you look at civil rights time, Malcolm X and them, they used to stand on the corner. The people used to be surrounded around them when knowledge was coming out. Now everybody's too busy. Right. Teach. Sooner or later, you got to realize that the life that we live in ain't the life we're supposed to be living. That's right. And we've got comfortable with being at the bottom of everything. 
Some of us fought the good fight. They was like, no, this ain't right, but society will break you. That's why it's important you come back to God. Because God's strength is much greater than the strength of this world. Read that. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 2 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I go the way of all the earth. Let me paint the picture. This is King David. He's dying. He's talking to his son, King Solomon. When he said, I go the way of all the earth, meaning it's time for me to die. Listen to what he tells his son. Listen to what the king of Israel tells his son. Read. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou, excuse me, be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. You see what this, this father is telling his son? He said, hey, son, I'm about to die. But I want you to be strong and show everybody that you're a man. Listen. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to walk in his ways, uh -huh. to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies. And it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. So what he tells me is, son, I'm dying. Show yourself a man by keeping God's commandments. That's right. So that you can prosper. And that's all we're saying to brothers out here in the street. We're saying that you think you're successful now, try keeping God's commandments. Right. Have God actually working for you instead of God working against you. How about right. that? How much power can we have? Now, we make this whole world turn. Right. Every song come from us. Right. Every genre of music, whether it's country, rock and roll, pop, it come from us. Bring it out. All in wickedness. Now, you tell me what we could do if we came in righteousness and joined together. That's, That's right. right. But what happens is we don't realize that we gods. We don't realize that we're supposed to be loving and building with one another. That's why you can have all of these stores in your community. We don't own none of them. Right. You can't go to Chinatown and see no soul food restaurant. Y'all don't, don't hear what I'm saying, bro. They don't get what I'm saying. You will never go to a Chinatown anywhere in this country and see a black-owned soul food restaurant set up in Chinatown. Teach. They have a level of unity. Based off what? They have their culture, their identity, their heritage. I asked five black men, one of them black, other one African American, one of them lost tribe of Shabazz, one of them Negro, one of them Egyptian. Kim it, brother. It's only one book on this planet that say you are God and you need to come back to your Godhood. That's the Bible. That's right. That's the Bible. Only one book on this planet has your history in it. That's the Bible. Yes, the same Bible in the Christian church, when it is taught the right way, you can't see nothing but yourself in it. That's Give me the right. book of Titus. So what are we talking about? We're talking about manhood. And manhood is keeping God's commandments. The Bible say you was meant to be a husband, not a baby daddy. That's a hard concept for us to get. You know why? Because the word husband come with a level of responsibility. Ain't no dip in and dip out whenever I feel like it when you got a husband title next to your name. Jeez. And you doing it in righteousness. Y'all yeah. black men, you the gods on the earth. I can't stress that enough. But you ain't walking like it yet. That's right. That's why we here. Titus. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. But speak thou things which become a sound doctrine. The Bible says as men, we got to speak things that sound doctrine. What's some of the things that sound doctrine? Hey, son, you got to get your education. Whatever happened to the black man being in the household and sitting his son down and teaching him the way life actually works? Right. How have we fallen that far as a people? We talk about the kids that's in the society that might be doing wrong, but where's the men at? Teach. And sisters, if it ain't no good men, how you keep getting pregnant? If all the good men is gone, how we still having babies? Something ain't adding up. What happened is we've allowed the other nations to come in our households and destroy it. Teach. We've taken incentives. Well, we got a little food stamps and now the black man got to leave the household. We don't want to talk about these things though. The Bible says we got to get back to speaking sound doctrine. What's your name, bro? What's your name? Malachi. You got a powerful name, bro. That's a powerful name, brother. Malachi was powerful in the scriptures. That's your forefather. Malachi was a black man, looked like you. Looked like you. 
When you read these names, Peter, Matthew, Jesus, John, Ezekiel, they look like y'all. These weren't no white men. The Bible takes place in Africa, people. <laughs> Teach. The Bible takes place in Africa. Bring it out. These are black people. When you read the Bible, you pick it up, you're looking at your photo album, That's your right. family book. Right. That's your people in that book. Read it. Verse 2. That the aged man be sober. The Bible says that if you're an aged man, you got to be sober. You can't walk around here high, brothers, and you want our elders. Right. We're supposed to look to you for some type of guidance, some type of wisdom. Exactly. You not being sober is directly contrary to your godhood. Right. It goes back to what I was saying. You can't be a part of this world and a god at the same time. You got to pick one. You are the protectors of the black family, black man. That's you right. can't be drunk and high and a protector at the same time. Right. It don't work. Again, you can't be a god and conform to this world at the same time. That's right. You can't do both. Read. Be sober, grave. Grave means serious. Everything ain't no damn joke out here. These young men out here getting killed. And our older men think life is fun and games and a joke. Right. And I'm going to tell you something. For everybody that dropped in Chicago, we failed them. Every young man that you read about that got shot on the news, we failed them. Teach. Sisters getting kidnapped at alarming rates, we failed them. There has to come a point in time when we take responsibility for what happened to our own people. To hell with the other nations. Right. So we got to get serious again. Read. Temperate, meaning he not just flying off the handle. Easily pissed off. Every little thing he going off. It's meaning temperate. Meaning he know how to keep his temper in check. What are we reading about how older men should be walking? So, so far, you shouldn't be high as hell. Gee. You should be serious about something, but right. you should have enough, temp enough temperament in yourself that you are rational. What are we talking about, young man? We're talking about building up more men. The Bible say you're a God, young man. It's time for you to start walking like a God, young man. That's right. The self-esteem in the black of the black man is in the trash can, but we here to build it up. That's right. You make the world go round, you don't even know it yet. Read. Sound in faith. Sound in faith meaning it ain't no Pentecostal. I'm a Seven Day Adventist. I'm an Apostolic. No, I'm a Baptist. I'm I'm I'm, I'm non-denominational, brother. I'm Muslim. That ain't sound in faith. Right. How can we all have been brought over here on the same boat and then turn around in all different religions? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.